Why are we so ticked off? Because the Center for Disease Control has announced that seven more tick-borne diseases have been discovered since 2004. Ticks are tiny, they're everywhere, and they're bad news. So we've got tips for taking on ticks on the lowdown. It's tick season, and since prevention is the best protection, here are three things you need to know from Dr. Mandeep Rai. Your first line of defense, tick them off. Most of the clothing that has permethrin in it will repel ticks. Permethrin is a chemical that's used to treat clothing. It both repels and kills ticks. You can also buy sprays for at-home treatments. Permethrin sprays are FDA tested and are safe. But they do have a limited life. Commercially treated clothing lasts about 70 washes and at-home treatment lasts for roughly three to four weeks before you'll need to reapply it. And both can be found online and in outdoor stores. CDC has an excellent website. I would go to them and see what they recommend before going and spending a lot of money. And if you happen to find a tick on you, next thing you need to know is how to take out a tick. We want to prevent getting exposed to the blood in the tick, so don't try to squeeze the tick and kill it. If you do find a tick, Dr. Rai says it's critical to remove it properly, so don't listen to the home remedies. Burning the tick, freezing the tick, or putting alcohol on the tick, it doesn't work. So the best thing to do is use a pair of tweezers and gently pull the tick back and out. Just lift it off. Finally, do your research. I generally use rule of the thumb, how long do you think the tick was on you? And is it within two or three days of the tick bite that they are contacting me? Ticks have to be latched on for at least a day and a half to transmit any diseases. And the only vaccine available is for Lyme disease. So she says to check the CDC website and ask your doctor about tick diseases in your area. So the emphasis is on prevention. Check your pet daily, check yourself. Taking aim at taking out ticks on the lowdown.